Hello everyone and welcome to another house building video. We are here in The Sims 4 and we are also here in 2015. How exciting is that? I hope you all have had a really really nice uh, New Year's Eve as you may have uh, seen or heard in my previous videos. Uh, I w spent my... Um, okay sorry brain fart I spent my New Year's Eve in Germany in um, Munich so that was very very exciting and it was so much fun but oh my god the train uh, you know we took the train down there and it took forever to get home um, 16 hours almost so um, I'm really glad to be home again and Build some more videos for you guys. So uh, we are here in Oasis Springs. No, we are here in Willow Creek. And um, the idea for this house was the letter C. So um, that is great fun. Um, when I initially built this, I uh, had the house a lot smaller than this actually, and. Um, in the end, I'm actually glad that I didn't build it as small as I um, wanted it originally. Because if I had built it so small, it would only fit like two bedrooms or so. Because it is AC and the angles inside the house is, um, what should I say, very, very odd. Um, so yeah, but I'm just playing around with different kinds of, um, you know decorational pieces for the outside um, but I will be getting rid of those because I really didn't like how they looked um, but I will be as I said getting rid of those um, but just putting in some windows here and this is only a one story house so only one level and very very it's a very very little uh, you know little Nice family house. Um, there is a kid's bedroom, a master bedroom, kitchen, two uh, bathrooms, uh, and a living room. So, all you should be needing in this house is in here. So, that is also great. Um, but just building the room layout here. And I decided to get the front entrance into the house. Um in the middle of the letter C so and that actually worked out great for me because you know as you can probably see lots of uh, angled walls in this house and actually that is the worst thing that you can have in the sims um, are so many angled house but I think in the end it worked really really well and I just have to say I love how the roofing turned out in this it kind of looks like from you know from the side like a stadium you know it, it has this stadium vibe um, but it's not it's just uh, the letter C so yeah um, I decided to go with a bright and you know grayish color scheme in here because I found these wallpapers with you know the dots and the like little squares on them um, and I just loved how that looked so I actually worked off of that and just implemented the furniture to go with the wallpaper as I did in uh, the Seth house so yeah and just changing the color of the outside here and the windows and we are nearly about to go into the uh, inside here we are starting on the kitchen now and this kitchen is very very small but it has all the things that you will need because I wanted the kitchen to be fully functional but I also wanted it to be like a kitchen slash dining room uh, space so it is fully functional and you shouldn't have any problem with uh, anything in it because well, I test tested it out with uh, my Sims, so it should work. Um, and just using move objects here to kind of place these lamps behind the upper counters there, cabinets, um, because you know, you see it a lot where the kind of lights is just on the 
you know, bottom of the cabinet, so it kind of lights up the counters below. And I thought that was a really, really cool idea, but I, you know, it didn't really matter if I placed the lights high or low uh, behind the cabinets because the light was the same. So I just kind of hid them behind the cabinets, and I think it looks great. Um, so yeah, and you know, just again, as you can see, furniture that actually match the surrounding uh, wallpapers here. Um, and the reason that I actually did that was because in the Zeth house, I actually loved how that turned out. You know, starting to match the um, match the furniture ch furniture to the wallpaper that I have chosen. So. Um, that was a great idea, and I thought, you know what, let's just try to do that again. Um, but just working on the little uh, dining room table here. Um, again, it's a very, very little house. Only room for uh, two or three people. Um, so, yeah. Um, and as you can see in there, in the upper corner of the sea, we are going into the kids' bedroom here. Now, here in the kids' bedroom... Uh, I made it a boys bedroom and I kind of played around with different kinds of move objects tools here now I've decided to place one bed on top uh, you know a little bit higher you can't actually use that bed um, of course you can move it down if you want to um, and those bookcases aren't functional either um, it's just completely for decorational purposes and you know I thought it was a really really cool idea to kind of have this raised up bed and have a you know like we saw in The Sims 3 where you have had these high beds where you could place things under it so that's kind of the vibe I tried to go for and just filling up the rest of the room with lots of different of toys and you know play equipment and stuff like that so that is great fun and just you know as I always say uh, paintings and stuff on the walls just little decorational items really really make a difference um, so that is also a really really great thing to put into your house and as you can probably tell if you have this on full screen I have finally gotten my game on English and about time if you ask me i've tried it for so long um but actually got so frustrated that i just googled it and i found this really really sketchy website um you know the ones where when you open the website in your browser you're like oh no i'm gonna get a virus now um but i didn't and i found this uh, language pack uh so, and it was actually really, really easy to install it. It just took a lot of time to do so. But it uh, it is on English now, and I couldn't be happier. And, of course, it is also a uh, pro, what do you say? It is positively uh, to you guys as well, because now you don't have to watch my Danish game when you... Are watching this and I am speaking in ling English as well so yeah it all should work out great but just the little living room area there and as you can see again very very small house and just trying to fit as much into the house but not so much that it seemed overly furnished you know you can come to a point where the furniture is just overly cluttered and I didn't really want that so I did it this way and I think it's really really cool in the end and I think it looks great so and just the master bedroom here and now as you can see I placed the um, what do you call it the shower uh, on a different angle there because in the back they it had it this uh, angle and I couldn't really work with that that well um, so I decided just to cut that angle off and make it a, you know, uh, like it was a squared bath bedroom. So 
excuse me, bathroom. So, yeah. And the master bedroom was done there. Not that much in there either because, you know, limited space. But we have moved outside here and just working on the outside. And I think it, it looks really, really cool in the end as well. I made these... Um, kind of what do you call flower beds um, on the outside with these surrounding rocks because now that we have move objects on you can place stuff really really close together and make it look really good now I know that before move objects got back into the game you could still place rocks really close together but um, I think with the flowers placed really really close together as well it just brings that extra level of detail and makes it look a little bit more nice um, so yeah and just you know placing lots more flowers in here um, because you know it makes it look good and a little bit more realistic because you I, I personally don't know anybody who have a garden and don't use it to anything or have any plants you know just uh, grass and so, yeah, fill it up. Um, and just playing around with s different uh, grass types there. And here is the kids' bedroom. I think it looks really, really cool. The dining room, kitchen area here. Um, also really, really great. And I love the gray colors and how the wallpaper works with the rooms. Um, and the front entrance here. Uh, kind of, you know, this little workspace area and the living room master bedroom here as we move into the last pictures of the outside of the house now i'm really really happy that you enjoyed this video please leave a like and a subscribe you know all that and it helped me out greatly and i would just like to say happy new year and have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world i really hope you had a fantastic new year and I will see you next time for another video. Bye!